Okay, so this example, your function is undefined at denominator equals to zero, right? Right? So what's the value of x here? We factorize. Minus 4 plus 3. So it is undefined at x equals to negative 3 and x equals to 4. So to find out vertical asymptote, we find for one-sided limit, negative 3 from the left-hand side. So substitute your negative 3, you get negative 5 over 0. Negative 5 over 0. So it will be <coughs> infinity. When you test your value, when you test your value, negative 3 from the left, you're going to test negative 3.001. So your 0 here is positively or negatively. Negative. Positive. So posit uh, negative over positive. This is negative infinity. So just test your value put inside this one, negative 3.0 put inside here. The place of zero here. Okay. So another side. We're going to find limit when x approaches 3 from the right hand side. Then the same function substitute negative 5 over 0 infinity. So test your value negative 3 from the right hand side. We test on negative 2 point. We can test on x equals to negative 2.999. So here you will get negative negatively zero point something 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 correct so uh, negative over negative answer is positive okay so for next point it will be limit approaches four from the right hand side from the left hand side first uh. approaches four from the left hand side for the function So substitute in 4 minus 2, 2, 2 over 0, infinity, test value, test for, test for x equals to 4 from the left hand side, 3.999. So when you put 3.999, negatively, your 0 is negative, 0 point something, is it? Okay. So positive over negative? Negative. Then, 4 from the right hand side. over 0, infinity, testing value, test x equals to 4 from the right hand side means more than 4, so it will become 4.001, so 4.001, this will be positive, so positive over positive, positively infinity. So our conclusion, x equals to negative 3, x equals to 4, they are vertical asymptotes. Okay, so for next, question B, finding horizontal asymptote, we're going to evaluate limit from negative infinity and limit from positive infinity. So try to substitute your infinity inside here. It will be infinity over infinity IDF. So to simplify this function, we're going to 
divide the highest power of our polynomial here. The highest power here, x squared. Then when you simplify, this is 1 over x. That will be 2 over x squared. 1, then 1 over x. Then minus 12 over x squared. Substitute your infinity. 0 minus 0. Denominator 1 minus 0 minus 0. 0 over 1. 0. So for the right hand side, when x approaches uh, positive infinity, the situation is same. This is infinity over infinity IDF. So means we are undergo the same procedure to simplify, divide the highest power of x squared, right? So after simplify, the function here will be 1 over x, 2 over x squared. So substitute, it still remains 0 minus 0, 1 minus 0, minus 0, 0 over 1. 0. Therefore, y equals to 0 is horizontal asymptote.